Hey there, I am Barbie Van Horn. This is Finding Fine Chocolate, and uh, today I'm going to talk about sugar. How much sugar is there in craft chocolate versus the chocolate that's not so craft chocolate, your average regular grocery store bar of chocolate? So what I did is I took two bars of chocolate, put them side by side. I am comparing a cacao sampanca, 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 cacao sampanca. It's from Mexico. And it's their La Jolla bar. It's a fantastic bar. Has notes of brandy in it. It really reminds me of brandy um, and chocolate and, and fruit and just very complex bar. Love it. But back to the sugar. I took that bar, which is a 50 gram bar, and put that side by side with another bar, which was 50 grams, exactly the same size, although they don't look the same size. And I'm showing you how much sugar is in each one. I measured out the grams of sugar that is listed on the package for each one. This cacao sampanca bar has 14 grams of sugar. So that's mm, supposed to be about three teaspoons, but it actually measured out to be more like four or five teaspoons when I was measuring it and weighing it on the scale. This one has 21 grams of sugar. So out of the 50 gram bar, 21 grams, almost 50%, not quite, but almost 50% is sugar. So when people say to me, how can you eat so much chocolate, all that sugar? I say, I'm eating really great chocolate and there's not that much sugar in the really great chocolate. So if you're eating really great chocolate, you can tell your friends that you're not eating that much sugar too. Thanks so much, I hope to talk to you soon. If you have questions about chocolate, send them my way. And if you find a really great craft chocolate maker out there, please tell me about them because I'm always looking for great new craft chocolate makers. Thanks so much, talk to you soon.